Guys, with the NFL season starting, 538 has decided to rank, I believe, 64 total quarterbacks, a mixture of starters and backups. Uh, the way they do it, their analytical model, how they predict things, the quarterback does have a major effect on the game. So they've got a separate rating for you know how good your team's quarterback is. That goes into their overall model and their overall projection on each game. I like that forward thinking. I think if you've got a really good quarterback, you should be weighted higher the problem is the baseline of these QB rankings is horrific. And you can see the quarterback ratings right here. It all gets factored in. Let's get into, they've got... So guys, we're going to go one at a time and just react to them. Josh Allen sitting at number one. No issues with that. You've got Mahomes right behind him. Looking at the overall ratings, 260 versus 259. You're splitting hairs. There's no issues with that. Aaron Rodgers, the MVP winner at number three. Very interesting how he'll do. No Devontae Adams. Very weak wide receiver core. He's getting up there in age. Speaking of getting up there in age, Tom Brady back for his 42nd season. Uh, he's at number four. Deshaun Watson, number five. I know people hate Deshaun Watson, the off-the-field stuff, but personally, on-the-field ability... I've got no issues with him at being number five. I'm sure some people would say Herbert should be in front of him. You know, maybe Dak, Stafford. I have no issues. The first big one, you see it, Kirk Cousins sitting at number nine. So what I think happened here, this is all numbers. This is all analytics. This is all efficiency, QBR, things like that. That is how they're getting their overall rating. And Kirk Cousins, it, the issue with Kirk Cousins, if you involve no human element, human touch into rankings, Kirk Cousins gets a boatload of garbage time stats. Now, Kirk Cousins is not a bad quarterback. You could have Kirk Cousins as the 12th best QB, the 13th best QB, something like that. But you guys will see some of the QBs that are lower than Kirk Cousins, it's just an insult. And it's like, what's the point of even doing rankings if this is what you're going to do? This is an analytical model. This is all numbers. No human element. This is its fatal flaw. You could have a quarterback go 30 of 40 for 370 yards, four touchdowns, and one interception, and it's an unbelievable game when you have no context, and it's like, well... He was actually down 21 to nothing early in the second quarter. They were playing prevent defense the entire fourth quarter. You've got to add context. How much yak, yards after catch, things like that. That all needs to be factored in. And if you don't have that, unfortunately, you've got Kirk Cousins at number nine. Kyler Murray at number 10. I think that's fair. I have no issues at Kyler Murray. Uh, Burrow at 11. So Burrow below Kirk Cousins. And then we get crazy. And this is just... This is one, looking at this analytically, I can't understand how the computer spit out Mitchell Trubisky sitting in front of Russell Wilson and Lamar Jackson. I have no clue. There is no, other than maybe winning percentage, because Mitch Trubisky actually has a winning record, but you'd think this is based all on QBR, efficiency, that's how you rank quarterbacks, not by their win percentage. Mitch Trubisky's only saving grace is he actually had a decent win percentage when he was with Chicago and they had those great defenses. Uh, but, you know, Mitch Trubisky at number 10, it basically, un unfortunately, invalidates this entire list in front of Russell Wilson. You could say Russell Wilson had a really down year last year, but if these are true, legitimate analytical numbers that are deep, you know, very, you know, uh, sophisticated, things like that, shouldn't you take like the last three or four years of a QB's career to factor that into their future performance, not just the last year? I know Russell Wilson struggled last year, but nobody believes that Russell Wilson, that the Steelers would rather have Mitch, like, that's where it gets to be like, what's the point of these rankings? You 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 think the Steelers would prefer Mitch Trubisky over Russell Wilson or Lamar Jackson? 
Why Lamar Jackson is that low, I have no clue. I understand he doesn't get many passing yards, but he's still efficient. He still has a really good touchdown to interception ratio. I'm not saying Lamar Jackson's a top five quarterback, but I would probably rank Lamar maybe at number eight in terms of overall quarterback, so certainly higher than 14. Jalen Hurts at 15, that's another one you would think Jalen Hurts would actually be lower because a lot of his value comes from running the ball. Uh, his overall passing numbers aren't the best, but he's 15. Jared Goff is 16. I, I don't know. Jameis Winston at 17. You know, he did have a decent year with the Saints early. Then he got injured. Small sample size. How about Gardner Minshew? The uh, Philadelphia backup. So the Eagles apparently, according to this model, the Philadelphia Eagles, oh my God. They've got two of the top 20 quarterbacks in the NFL. Two of the top 18, according to this model. And then uh, Derek Carr sitting at 19. Matt Jones at 20. I don't know. Maybe I'd move up Carr a little bit. I think Carr's probably 14 or 15. He's like the prototypical, maybe slightly above average quarterback. I think he should do decent this year. Hopefully, Waller is going to be healthy. Of course, Devontae Adams. And then you do have... Uh, uh, Hunter Renfro is kind of the third down option. Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't even notice this one. They've got Colt McCoy sitting at 22. Nick Foles at 23. Where is Matt Ryan? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So they're telling me the Indianapolis Colts, they're starting the wrong guy. They should be starting Nick Foles. Drew Locke at 24. Drew Locke in front of Tua. Case Keenum, the corpse of Case Keenum. Case Keenum's arm is shot. The dude needs like Tommy John surgery. Did you see him on the Browns? He has no arm at this point in his career. He's at 26. Davis Mills at 27. Jimmy G at 28. I don't disagree. I, th I could see Jimmy G being a fringe starter. Geno at 20. So they've got Drew Locke ahead of Geno. What a, what a mess that is. They're starting Geno Smith week one. Geno Smith is starting on Monday Night Football. I'm sure ESPN loves that. And then Teddy Bridgewater at number 30, who is now the backup for Miami. Uh, and then we also have the last two, that uh, rounding out the top 32. Daniel Jones makes the cut. And how about Nick Mullins, Browns legend. The Browns legend, C.J. Beathard is in front of Carson. I don't like Carson Wentz, but folks, I think Carson Wentz is a little bit better than Drew Locke. Come on, guys. Brian Hoyer in front of Trey Lance. Trey Lance is left pinky. Has more talent than Brian Hoyer. Nothing against Brian Hoyer. And I'm not saying Trey Lance should even be top 20, but these, these rankings, Jacoby Brissett at 37, there's Matt Ryan. I thought they just forgot about Matt Ryan. So Matt Ryan's on the list. He's 38. Remember, they've got Nick Foles, Indianapolis' backup, I believe at like 22. So very interesting. Chad Henry, Henry, Chad Henney comes in at 39. Trevor Simeon, the Broncos legend at 40. Marcus Mariota, who is a starter. Kyle Allen in front of Justin Fields, because that makes sense. I'm not asking for Justin Fields to be ranked inside of the top 10, folks. But he's athletic enough to at least be in front of Kyle Allen and C.J. Beathard. Joe Flacco at 44. He'll be starting the first four games. Trevor Lawrence at 45. Terod Taylor at 46. There's Kenny Pickett. I am surprised the Steelers didn't go with Kenny Pickett. I really thought they would. Jordan Love. I would have thought Blaine Gabbert would be higher. It always seems like Blaine Gabbert has great preseason numbers. Taylor Heineke. I, I would have thought Taylor Heineke would have been higher as well. Baker. Okay. Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold with the same rating. Come on, I know Baker Mayfield didn't have a good season last year. I know the AI, the numbers, the analytical formula, it cannot factor in the fact that he injured himself week two. I don't think Baker Mayfield is this superstar franchise quarterback, but he's better than Davis Mills. Come on, guys. He's What are we doing? He's better than Sam Darnold. Andy Dalton at 53. Zach, Will boy, they really hate Zach Wilson. Desmond Ritter, I mean, he's a rookie. Malik Willis, Jarrett Stidham, Hutley, Josh Johnson, 
And then there are the rest. Okay, th now the last four actually make sense. They're all bad, you know, backups, no experience. Though That's the only part of the list that makes sense. So guys, it's like, I know all of this is based on numbers and things like that, but it's almost like it's such an imperfect measure. There has to be an ability Again, I don't know how they do this exactly analytically to come out with a rating for all these quarterbacks. But when you, it's like you're building a formula and you see it spout out these numbers. Isn't the first reaction to probably say, maybe we ought to change this a little bit. Change the weighting on how the formula is made when you've got some of these results like Mitch Trubisky in front of Russell Wilson and Lamar Jackson. I mean, there's literally a problem with every one of these pages. They've got Kirk Cousins at number nine. Uh, I, I would say the first eight are probably the most accurate. I, I have no pr real issues with the first eight. Uh, but after that, you know, you could also argue Russell Wilson should be in the first eight. Maybe even Lamar Jackson. Uh, it is a complete mess. So I just wanted to go over these 538. You know, 538, they're an analytical, you know, they do projections based on metrics, things like that. I, I get it. I understand. But when you spewed out numbers like this and these quarterback ratings go into how you predict games, your credibility is going to take a severe hit because you're ranking Mitchell Trubisky in front of franchise quarterbacks. Come on. I mean, what are we doing with this? I don't know. I just thought this would be something funny to look at the top quarterbacks ranked right there. Uh, but guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.